John the Baptist ends up being a rather interesting character in the Gospels, and in tracking the tradition of John the Baptist through the synoptics, it's a little more simple to begin with the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John is not a synoptic, but it does give an idea as to what John the Baptist meant to early Christianity. In the Gospel of John, John the Baptist is not heavily mentioned. In the first chapter, John simply appears and is a witness to Jesus. In other words, John the Baptist gives his testimony of what occurred. In essence, he saw Jesus, the Logos, and as soon as he saw Jesus, the Holy Spirit descended upon him. Beyond this mention, John the Baptist is said to be the guy that comes before Jesus. He's the guy that testifies to Jesus. He baptizes lots of people, but he did not personally baptize Jesus. In the Gospel of Markion, the testimony of John the Baptist is not mentioned directly. However, in Markion 7, 18-35, John the Baptist is said to be the greatest prophet ever. He is said to be the greatest prophet that has ever lived. Assumably, this is in regards to his prophecy of Jesus. Also, in Markion's religion, Jesus was already spirit. Jesus did not need the spirit to descend upon him. Because of John the Baptist being the greatest prophet, many Jews were compelled to go and get baptized by John. Once again, John appears to be a witness to Jesus or a prophet of Jesus. However, again, John the Baptist did not baptize Jesus personally. One other mention is important here. In Mark John chapter 9, Herod is included in this story and is said to have beheaded John the Baptist. Also of note, at the end of this book, Herod and Pilate become friends. In the Gospel of Mark, John the Baptist is not only the prophet or witness to Jesus, but John the Baptist personally baptized Jesus. Mark goes into much more detail on John the Baptist, including the account of the beheading of John. In Mark 11, the author implies that the baptism from John was from heaven rather than from human origin. Unlike the Gospel of John or the Gospel of Mark, Mark implies that John's version of baptism was far more important. Herod and Pilate are not friends in this account. In the Gospel of Matthew, John the Baptist shares similar properties to that of the Mark version. However, another aspect of John the Baptist is introduced. In Mark 11, John the Baptist is said to specifically be the prophet Elijah. This is entirely contrary to the other accounts. John and Mark specifically say that John the Baptist is not Elijah. Markion says John the Baptist was the greatest prophet ever, but does not allude to the concept of him being Elijah. Once again, like Mark, Herod and Pilate are not friends in this account. Finally, in the Gospel of Luke, one more aspect is added to John the Baptist. For the most part, John the Baptist is said to have very similar traits as the Mark account, again denying that he is Elijah. However, in the birth account of John the Baptist, he was born to prophesy in the spirit of Elijah. So, the final account of John the Baptist in the Synoptics mitigates the problems of Matthew's account and Mark's account. In essence, Luke says that John was not Elijah, but had the spirit of Elijah. Otherwise, the Gospel of Luke account is very similar to Markion. Luke mentions in passing the idea that Herod had John the Baptist beheaded, and in the end, Herod and Pilate become friends. Again, based on simple themes, this is the most likely order for the Synoptic Gospel accounts. In this video, only John the Baptist was spoken of. However, as we keep going through these texts, it will become clear that all evidence points directly to Markion's Synoptic priority.